Hey beautiful ladies, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm taking you guys to LA with me to the fashion district to shop for clothes for my new launch for Shop 500 Boutique. I'm gonna show you guys some behind the scenes footage and my trip to LA. So let's get right into it. We're gonna stop by one of my favorite vendors first, Cav Park. The fashion district is not very glamorous. All the stores look like this. Hello. Picking up for us. a business license you can go into any store and buy items so clothes usually come in a pack of six two smalls two mediums and two larges I've already made a purchase um, so I'm just picking up my stuff to go I'm gonna ship it myself we have six pieces here and then this is for you. It's not because of two things, right? That no, because the, the one you took that, that Wednesday afternoon. And then I had a jumpsuit. Uh -huh. I had three all together. One I already picked up, that striped mm -hmm. outfit. It was a knit looking outfit. And then I got that jumpsuit and then the dress. No, that, that you're already picked up. Yeah, you already up. picked up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you were okay. going to come back on Friday, but then you came oh, back oh, last right, Friday. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm trying to keep up. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh -huh. No problem. <laughs> oh, that's this. <laughs> the broken. Right. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Like, I have, like, my set vendors that I go to every time. Like, they are, like, I know they're going to have something. And sometimes my trusted vendors that always have stuff don't. So it takes me a little bit longer because I have to go to, like, try different stores or go to way more places to put a little um, collection together in. Then. So now you can't get it. Uh, no. So now I have to go to UPS. That's too bad for me. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had this, remember? Mm -hmm. Something like it. Yeah, but it was all solid. Yeah. had that. Something like that.
What is it? They're recording her. Me. Oh, not she, you. She's not allowed. Me. Recording you inside. Could send okay, so like some places you go to like this, they get real bent out of shape about you like filming in there. So I don't even patronize those places because seriously, like accessory places all have the same stuff. So if they don't want you taking pictures and all that, I'm out because it's like, so what? Okay, so it's two important things that have to happen when I come to the district. Number one, comfy shoes. Comfy shoes. It's a lot of walking, y'all. The first time um, I came to like a mart or a district, I had no idea like what I was in for. I had on heels, jeans, and baby, by the end of the day, I was looking like a, a broke down hooker. And number two, baby, it's the taco trucks. There are a ton of taco trucks in LA in the district. Oh, girl, what oh. you doing? It's time for lunch. She's slow, y'all, because she's hungry. We're gonna eat at this taco truck today. We're gonna show everybody the taco truck, not me. It's all of these. It's like the truck everywhere. Um, I usually stick to my same one so that I know what the food tastes like, but then you gotta try um, one of the taco trucks. Yes. On the chips. Yes. Um, you said two cancelers? Yes. Cash. And your name? Erica. Erica. Twenty fifty other guys. Twenty fifty other. There you go. Another fifty cents? No, uh, sorry. Thank you. you did? Okay. All right. Yes. Okay, y'all. So look, I I got so it's lunchtime. I got two tacos. She I got, got three. three. All for twenty dollars. Two drinks and a can of soda. Oh, they gave us chips. Okay. Wait, green sauce. This whole kind of sweater. Put it down there. And yeah. red sauce. Okay, I think these are mine. And the guacamole. He forgot my cucumbers. I oh, know he didn't. He gave me two damn cucumbers. <laughs> yes, I do eat cucumbers with my tacos. Only with my Mexican tacos. But you know, it tastes really it good. Is, Trust it me. is. It is what it is. Oh, Can we share this? But you know what? It's two. It's cucumbers on yours. Okay. Can we share this? That's fine. They didn't give us a fork though. For what? For the guacamole. What you need a fork for the guacamole? For? To How'd eat? How you supposed to eat it? I'm With not putting chips. it on my taco. No, I didn't want guac. Oh, that's why he gave us chips. I didn't want guac and chips. I just wanted guac to eat. Oh. But y'all, the tacos are so good. I had them to go. We could have ate outside. It's decent. Mm -hmm. It's really nice outside, but yeah, I just like didn't feel, out, feel like eating. Y'all see, I had to get comfortable, take my flannel off. Because, um, it's getting hot in yeah. here. So this is a day at the district. Like I always eat lunch at the district. This is like my routine. I stop halfway through. Well, I'm finished today because I was here a couple of days ago. And I get in the car and eat. We were going to try a different place today, but she insisted. You know, sometimes I do try a different place every once in a while. It used to be this one lady out here. She was here for like, so I've been coming here for almost nine years at this point. She was here for like, the first five y'all and one day i just came and she was literally like not here i don't know but she went back to mexico or where she went but baby those tacos they probably had crack in them or something because <laughs> the, i used to feed for her tacos and today i have not had anybody like quite compare it to hers i'm talking about like i don't know mama made some good tacos but <laughs> you want that's lime? lunch no i don't i do not eat lime in my tacos. you can send it back that's There's our lunch, y'all. So, nope. That's lunch, and um, we're done. So we're gonna try one more place. Um, when, one of my when. vendors moved. Yeah, like when when apparel they moved. I don't know. Some of these vendors do that too. And I, I always, I'm very curious. This whole area, I'm sure, is owned by like the same group of people oh, or one it. company or maybe two. But they, it's so close proximity. Like they'll be in one area and then move to another store another storefront like the next year just move around they move this is like their third time moving and they're not really? answering the phone yeah so i found another address for them we're going to try um to see if they're open at that location and then other than that we are done we're going to probably go to the mall or to the movies or something um and enjoy the rest of our day for this blog though y'all so like if y'all have questions, if you like interested in opening up a boutique and that's why you're watching this, if you have some questions that I really didn't answer, comment. Um, yeah, comment below and let me know. But I, I probably I can't even answer them. Yeah, because she's been doing this with me since she was like two huh? years old. 
She's finally got to the place. Right, 1999. <laughs> She finally got to the place where she en enjoys doing it with me because before, oh God, it used to be su such a task, especially when she was like I think four or five. Man, it was rough. She yeah, also, down I here think I'll always be wearing flip flops, so my like feet, feet hurt. hurt. But yeah, it's, it'll baby, be you got to wear comfortable shoes. It's a lot, a lot of walking. Because again, like you are literally like, okay, like so if you have like a storefront and you're filling up a store, you really have to like really look through everything unless you're just one of those type of people that stick to the same vendors. But like, when my store was like fully in service open i go through every store because you might find something new each time um and i have to fill up a store so now that i've transitioned online it's a little different i'm a little bit more conservative with like my spending and pieces i put together um and then sidebar i just thought about it when you go to vegas it's much different like when you go to um the magic show Oh, all yeah, of these, yeah, yeah. well, not all of them, but most of these vendors go to Vegas. They put on a show. The booths look amazing. If you haven't um, watched my other vlog for the Fashion District, I'll link it's not Fashion District for the Magic Show. I'll link that because the presentation is much different. So, like, if you're coming here first and then you go to that, you see what I like mean. They take you in like a little versa. Tesla. Right, that your your transportation. But that just had, they just did. Yeah, that. they just started doing that. But yeah, it's much different. So when you go to like a Vegas show and you see that, it's the presentation is beautiful. They spend lots of money putting those booths together. Um, yeah. So the difference on that is that like the clothes they have some available immediately, but it's like a pre order situation and it's like to come for the next season. But like here, when you come here, it is not a presentation. Okay, it's just a, a showroom. Some showrooms look way better than others, and some are just like okay and it's like uh -oh. you're picking up that day so that's the main difference is vegas is really a production like they're putting on and then it's way more vendors and it's vendors from across the country like new york vendors there's more upscale vendors and there's an upscale building here that has, has, sells like high end like seven jeans like really? stuff that come out of bloomingdale's yeah but we don't go there because i don't sell seven jeans or not seven like high end jeans or mm -hmm. whatever I don't know why I said seven jeans. I haven't bought a pair of seven jeans since 1999. Okay, y'all, we're going to eat lunch. Um, we'll check in with y'all later. Good morning, y'all. I am so excited, y'all. How does my face look, first of all? Like, I did a little light beat, and I hope I don't look shiny. I tried to do, like, a matte finish with my favorite lipstick, Holly. Weird. Anyway, y'all like my sweatshirt? This is from Shop 500, of course. It is the Expensive Habits of course sweatshirt that i'm gonna be launching in like two weeks on the website so today's plan um i'm gonna go do some product shots with the sweatshirt on it's like you know sporty chic can you see the rest of it it's just a basic hoodie um it has pockets uh oh let me fix the camera and i also it also has strings but i tuck the strings in because when i do the product shots i don't want the strings obstructing the name and i'll forget when i get there we're gonna find some place i don't have like a designated place my sideburns are always making like an appearance y'all i tried to flat iron them to death my little um camera person's coming to help me she's trying to bribe me y'all she wants 50 dollars per picture girl like who are you to 50 dollars a picture video but anyway we're about to get in the car and after that after we do some like product shots we're gonna go maybe eat some lunch or some dinner because it's like 1 30 but anyway y'all yeah i'm so excited to launch this hoodie and do the rest of the launch and like after that the whole roll up that's my boo okay y'all we gotta go because like the sunset sunsets at four and we gotta go what if it was Okay, so we're headed to where we're here Rodeo at Rodeo Drive. Drive. Um, this is where we're gonna take our little videos and pictures. Hopefully it yep. goes well. Wish us luck. It's not too crowded, so that's good. Because I do not like Come on. Sorry, thanks. taking, that's doing all that for people. But look, so it's not that crowded. Um, so yeah, okay. Wish us, me and my new photographer, camera person, hey, wish us luck. I don't get paid. <laughs> yes, you do, bye. No, I don't. All right, come on.
Uh-huh. Okay. You ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Video or picture? Uh, picture? Picture. One, two, three. Fear, honey. Okay, y'all. So, I got a code. Excuse me. I'm going to call the code out here. But anyway, we finished with that content. I almost had to fire your girl. She was a shady photographer, videographer. I was taking a picture in front of a G5, and homegirl just left the camera at me in the street and just took off like what's up no because you took it offensively but i was only joking she wasn't joking you weren't joking you don't like me. if you feel like a luxury car is not mine i shouldn't be taking a picture in front of it that's what you felt like no that's why you, you literally like a half a block up y'all was so mad but anyway no, i did it it was not that far i walked like two stores down that's like anyway i'm not about to argue with, with you i hope i got some good content um it wasn't as bad as i thought people were looking and staring it made her a little nervous but it's okay so first i'm doing something like that like helping me out with something like that so it was cool to the room. we're about to grab some you're gonna be In good look mile, you learn how to, right to be a videographer it is the car is moving you was cutting off my head no it was not i'm cutting off my own face anyway we're about to grab some dinner i hope you guys enjoy like the little behind the scenes for the launch of us shop 500 i made the short shirt. videos behind the scenes anyways <laughs> y'all like this expensive having sweatshirt okay and i had to change on the street y'all listen uh sephora they talking about they didn't have a bathroom. I never been to Sephora didn't have a bathroom. Stop it, y'all. <laughs> or maybe I have. Maybe Sephora don't have bathrooms. But anyway, I just changed right, right there because I have on a shirt underneath this. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But anyway, that was kind of fun. I wish it was a little bit warmer though. It got a little chilly, but I'm happy the sun was out because I wanted to do this the other day and it was raining cats and dogs for literally 24 hours, and yeah. I'm not used to that in California. Has never done that the all the years I've been coming right. here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I got something done off my checklist. And um, yeah, we're gonna go to dinner. And I hope this food is good because my friend is a vegan. And I don't know where she's taking us. I hope this food <laughs> is at least decent because I'm not a vegan. So yeah. Now you are not a hoodlum, okay? <laughs> you're a white dog. You are not a gangster. Right, you are not a white dog. <laughs> okay. So. So my friend, we at this restaurant, right? Look, okay, <laughs> at this nice restaurant. You see the ambiance, it's, it's decent, right? She brought her dog in here, y'all. He, he done pulled up a seat. He done pulled up a seat to the table like he about to have dinner with us, y'all. This is retarded, look at this. <laughs> at the restaurant, y'all, like inside, inside the restaurant at the table. You look at your finger. Okay, we got some. How that's looking, y'all? Wagyu beef and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh oh. What is that? Veggies, plant-based chicken. Today drain snow. <laughs> Good morning everybody. I hope I don't sound too stuffy, but anyway, um, today we are leaving. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. Before I go though, I have to go to UPS because um, I have like a trunk full of stuff that I need to ship. Um, I usually do the consolidated shipping, but anyways, yesterday I didn't do, do it completely, if that makes sense. But anyway, so we're about to take this stuff in and Get a shit. Hi guys, so this is unfortunately the end of the vlog. And now we're turning the car and now we're finna catch the flight. Don't forget to like, comment. No, don't forget to <laughs> 